<laughs> Which is good, because he's a healthy kitty. He slept. Okay, so Damn. now we hit the, the- We hit this inevitability damn fucking quick. Uh... Decide here and now, it goes both ways. If you hit exactly the saving throw, do you want to consider it a success or a fail? Uh, that's a f I think it's it usually goes to the defender. the defender. I make- I make the house roll, depending on what the group wants. I mean, because if we accept that it's a success, then we also can be hit by that same shit in the future. Exactly. Um, I don't know. I would personally say it goes to the defender. Goes to the defender, so he succeeds. Fair enough. He takes one damage, <laughs> which is funny because I tricked you because he only had one. <laughs> dun dun dun! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> it was a deception. <laughs> All right, so there goes number one. All right. All right. Mission accomplished. Bam. Alright, so I think that's your turn. Yep, 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 yep. Movement, action bonus, yep. Number two. How far can he move? Whoa, 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 Nowhere, whoa, whoa. he set up his nice lovely picnic right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he attacks Tanum. Coasting behind his reflection. And then he fucking misses, apparently. <laughs> yes. Tanum, you just instinctively, like, you don't really know. Because, like, the entire, like, each finger of this creature is a claw. So you figure, like, they're probably gonna. If you do this instinctual move, one of them will probably get caught, and that will probably give you the impetus to defend yourself from the rest. You hold both of your blades over your head, and then you feel multiple claws catch on the blades. And you're like, it fucking worked. You do not Hell get it as yeah. you parry it backwards. Now, the question is, are you going to give as good as you get? I can certainly try. Hopefully you give more than what you got, because you got zero, so... Uh, movement, I want to move around like that. Oh, I'm sorry, Tango, I'm sorry. I touched him once, and then he twitched. Nah, suddenly. So I use my movement to get around? You get around him? Uh, yeah. Two strikes. Uh, action bonus. Roll it. Straight rolls. Hit. Hit. Mission accomplished. 19. Wow. Wait, real? What is he? Oh, you got full roll on the first one. That's really, that's really that good. That tasty damage. 19 is enough to easily decimate this creature. <laughs> And you clearly put him in the negatives. So, using the momentum of throwing this creature's uh, claws off you, you just take a step backwards, because you figure this is some sort of ethereal creature. You phase through it, and you see as you phase through it, its reflection come into view on the coast itself. And while this happens in the span of seconds, because that's how rounds work, you take the time it takes for him to bring down his arms again, clearly intending to... Repeat the failed action he did before of uh, bring down claws on top of head. Repeat until target is dead. You take advantage of this very exposed position he's in and just begin stabbing into him. Almost prison style and then finishing off with a nice slash across this ethereal creature's neck? You don't know. It is dead though. So go you. Uh, I have some movement left, so I am going to... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna move... Let's see, 10... 15, 20... Here. Okay. Do some bodyguard work. Anything else? Protection pays well, what can I say? No, that's my Fair. turn. Fair enough. Sandra, cool. our gunslinger friend. There's only one target left, but you guys are also free to run away from it if you want. <laughs> I flee! No. You uh, good. Cowardice yeah. is a winning tactic for some. No. Some um, more than most. 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a long way around. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> because I can have the speed. Uh, I'm gonna use yeah, Deadeye yeah. to say that I at least use Deadeye. <laughs> Wait, where where do you go? Wait, how, I you moved. Took, you took, you took, one, yeah, I went the long two. way around, like south. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, he can't, he can't do a tiger barb turn against you. He already spent on. Uh, Shit, your forgot that. Oh well. Divination wizardy friend. You do not chew on cords. Um. So I swing around that way, use dead eye to at least use it once, and I attempt to shoot the fellow. Oh, maybe here. fucking finally. <laughs> roll to hit. I uh, d disadvantage, correct? Or actually, it's is it considered? It's flanked? a straight roll. Yeah. Bam. Flank doesn't apply for. Damn, it's fifteen. Oh well. Flank doesn't apply for range attacks. Uh oh, I forgot to add the damage die. Okay, well. There's that, and it gets an additional 1d4. Boop. Oh, nice. Seven damage. It is still alive. I did my duty. Um, you did your duty. Yeah. And Similar, once more, you shoot a bullet, and try being very careful not to A, have anyone in the way on its way through, and B, not have anyone on its way out. Hmm. It bounces around this ethereal uh, eighth magic air invisible whatever force, before leaving, and you hear the boy hit the sand somewhere on the other side of it. Anything else you want to do? Uh, I don't think there's anything else you can do, actually. Uh, that's that's actually careful where you end that thing. I know what I'm doing! Uh, I'm gonna take one more step back because I have five feet of movement left, and I'm gonna stay there. <laughs> I like that you're turning uh, Sandra into this sort of, like, questionably Scottish, I think? <laughs> Honestly, I think, I think I'm just, like, Accidentally osmosising into Scottish because of the Scottish person in our group. <laughs> I mean, that's I on you. No, it's wonderful. If it I can fine. get a decent Scottish accent out of this, it's worth it. <laughs> I, I I thought you were trying to imitate the one other Wood Elf you met, and I'm like, I was gonna tell you like that's not because Wood Elf. Wood Elves aren't all Scottish. It's just because she's from the Heartlands, where they are all Scottish. <laughs> Moving on though. Anyways, uh, m Mr. Brightwood, yes. sir, and them. Brightwood. Uh-huh. Not You have a clear line upon this invisible creature, which is a sort of contradictory sentence to say, honestly. What do you like to do? I'm gonna go... five... ten. And I'm gonna shoot it. Hell yeah, shoot it. What do you shoot it with? Firebolt! Unfortunately, I had misses. I used two spells. This whole game. I mean, that's ten. Uh, <laughs> Actually, uh, if if she wants, if she wants, Falls can deploy her nat twenty on it. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Fuck it. Assume you hit with a nat twenty. So roll me two d ten. Or roll me one d ten. We'll, we'll keep yeah, the nine. Get, get that crew. Yeah, because I have one d ten. Does this not have your spellcasting modifier for cantrips? No, you don't add those to cantrips. Oh, Only wrong. high level evocation and certain clerics. Yeah. Ah, 14. That's, like, that's the trade off form. Is that like. You're doing a d10, but you don't get like a plus 4 or anything to it. That Unless you're sense. a warlock like with a added shenanigans. Yeah. Well, that's because you're a dirty, heretical yeah. warlock. So. 14. What a sham that it's dead. I tricked <laughs> you there with tone of voice. It is dead. It had 7 HP left, so that puts it at negative. As you walk through the darkness, to some degree, again, it's sort of lit, sort of not, from you, you hold out your glowing hand, the one that still has light cast upon it, and from this shining bright white or yellow light, up to your interpretation, any color light, honestly, comes a, a light of one particular color, which is red, because it's fire, and because it's a fire bolt, as it soars, sears through the sky, the air, it hits an invisible force and makes a sort of magical ash when it kills it. One that just, with the sea breeze, just fades to the wind. Is there anything left over? Or is that it completely gone? No, my friends. You have, you have successfully completed your first combat. Oh, yay! <sighs> Not that it was easy. You earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Mm. Congratulations all around. And I only cast two spells. Out of two. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> that uh, journey inspiration saved my ass. Mm. Mm. All right, well, I'm literally about to pee myself, so I'm going to go. Yeah, but, but take, a take a five minute break. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. I'll be right back. One, two, three. I shot. Yes, I shot only three times. Alright, well, now I know definitely we're fucking. <laughs> Varric's next level. <laughs> we need that shit. <laughs> No, the catch is like he need the bonus action is what does it. When he doesn't have to take his full action to force yeah, feed you guys honestly, like kitten, then fucking it's so much easier. It's it's wonderful. That second level uh, in that class makes a difference. <laughs> Do the uh, crash? Can I uh, look uh, at the crumbly dudes and see if there's a, like a head? Back. Save it for when fair, we're fair. back. Give him break, but yes, you can once everyone gets back. Hey, All right. crash. Not that I expect you to have this, but could you think of a what? elven word for healer? Oh, elven word for healer? Yeah. Uh, I think... Actually, I had Do something. you have a thing? Oh my god. In a previous game, I had something along... I don't think I meant healer. I think I meant, like, um, medicine man. But let me try to find it. Sure. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm also going to use bathroom. Bear back. Okay. Fucking nerd. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Easy clap. Yishang. Oh, that. Doctor. Yishang. Ah. <laughs> Scroll, damn you. Load. Load, oh, damn you. Boop-a-doop. Welcome back. Hi. I found it, by the way. Nifty. Uh, it was, the term was Elenid. El... Could you type that out? You already typed yeah. it. Elenil. Interesting. Oop. Mm. About like I finally got to use Dead Eye and I forgot to add the modify for damage. Like son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, for Varishit, I have two separate weapons. One that says Dead Eye, one that says doesn't. Oh, okay. Or the one that one that says nothing, and then the Dead Eye one has the increased crit range embedded in it. Oh, I didn't know could do that. I'm gonna see if I can. Set yeah. It so up. when so when you open when you make it like when it says crit, put 19 instead of 20. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I will set that. Thank you. Mhm. Mm two D four. Welcome back, by the way. No decks. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Just sneak on in there. Um. <laughs> Congratulations, my friends. Fighting two stone cursed and some skulks. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm back. Welcome back. <sighs> so, we're all back. Let's get back into it, shall we? Mm -hmm. uh, Tanum, I believe you wanted to begin... Uh... Yes, so, so what I would like to do is... Um, I, I'll walk over to where the corpses of the stone people are. And I'll see yeah. if there's a head or something left over. Uh, I'm gonna make two marks. I have the rough idea where they're dead. Like uh, one was like right here from the bomb, and then one was right here from uh, inflict wounds. The inflict wounds one, uh, due to the execution stuff uh, from Rainey's, uh, there is not a head left because that's where she casts inflict wounds. Um, the other one, roll me your luck. I, I don't honestly have any particular acclimation to how effectively explosives destroy the body. Especially with stone one. 55? There is not. Oh, what are we uh, can I find like a piece of an ear or something? Going on? He's digging through the stone remains of okay. the creatures. Um, you didn't miss anything, to sorry that. Uh, I'm looking for some sort of proof, like an ear, a hand, a finger, something. Oh yeah, you definitely find that. You find one of these stony claws. That sort of dug into uh, Rainey's. 
Or, not this one in particular, this one didn't hit shit. Um, feel free to modify it. Okay. God damn it, oh. Yeah. He showed up for his favorite part, which is the murdering. The combat. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you f you managed to find one of these um, very peculiar fingers, claws. Uh, I'll uh, look over to the uh, somewhat winded by now, I suppose, uh, wizards, and uh, <laughs> uh, I'll uh, sh call, shout out. Uh, why don't two of you look over the remains? See if you can find anything useful in the clothing. Okay. Um. That's my way of trying to hint. If you help each other, one of you gets advantage. <laughs> if you <laughs> aid each other, you get advantage. Uh, That's no way. Is this I'm in the cast detect magic? Yeah. Ritually okay. or with uh, the spell no, slot? I have it prepared. Okay, so you <laughs> cast it. Uh, is there anything in particular you're looking for? I want to ask before I dig into it myself. Uh, I mean, anything. Anything that seems neat, I guess. I've never seen a fucking rocky person before, you know, so anything that doesn't just look <laughs> like Russians. rock. Um, you do note that the remains of the stone creatures... There's no remains of the ghostly creatures, mm -hmm. but the remains of the stone creatures, they have this sort of flavor, this sort of hint of transmutation magic natural to them. Hmm. Okay. Right. Am I able to... Uh, wait a minute. Am I able to, like, investigate or use... Because I've got, like, a... Well, describe yeah. to me what you want to do. And then I'll sit be like, roll this. Or okay, you can't uh, do that. Or what would you like to do? I'd like to try... Because I've got, in, like, insight. Would that do anything to try and sort of have a look around? Because you said... No, insight... Insight is, like, reading a person in conversation, just reading their body, body language and stuff like that. Okay. If you want to, like, look over, like, the scenes of this, this would be investigating versus insight. Ah, okay. I don't have that then. Um... Uh, but you can okay. help someone that does, though, which would give them advantage. So they, you know, roll twice. I mean, if you want to help me, I'm just going to dig through. I'll, I'll do that, yeah. Because you said it was transmutation, right? If yeah. he, If he decides yeah. to. Yeah, okay. Um, so because I'm a transmutation, would that, would that give me any sort of advantage? Roll me, roll me your background information. Uh, what would that be? Uh, it's, it's a custom skill, so... Remember how I told you that we should put on the bottom left, there should be like uh, background information, like put it yourself. Oh, like so, the features yeah, and yeah. traits? Ah, oh, okay. I don't bottom have left, any... below, below passive perception. Passive perception. So scroll down on the left side, you see daggers and then uh, background information on your sheet. Uh, okay. Just... So click that and then change it to uh, intelligence. Uh, Make sure the, you hit the button. What, just the background info? Yeah. So just, oh, okay, okay, and change it to intelligence. Change it to intelligence, and then close it. Yeah. 13. 13, okay. <laughs> you're Does not 100%, you're not necessarily something, you're not certain as to what would cause it. Um, With a 13, it did... It confirms to you any suspicions you or the party would have had that these, these beings, they weren't born stone people, they were made into stone people. Okay, I'm able to use that to assist, or is that... Well, no, that's just the information you have as a transmutation wizard. Oh, okay, okay, I'll just assist then. <laughs> in anything. Something to keep in mind for the report, perhaps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna be a little uh, amateur paleontologist here and just dig through the rocks. <laughs> I will uh, aid you in that and try to help. All right, one of you roll investigation with advantage. You want me to do it? Yeah, I'm helping you. So let's see. Yeah. just take whoever has a higher aim to do. Which I would hope is a wizard. Oof. Yeah, it. All their belong, all their clothing and belongings, like sort of fuse onto them. Like again, very much like a statue would be carved and chiseled. So in terms of like actual belongings, it there's nothing left, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. They're just cool rock people. Magic rock people. 
Can I just, like, those... keep an eye out around us to make sure something doesn't pop up? Yeah, Varric is reloading two rounds into... Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about those shadow <laughs> things as well, though? Are we able to tell... Is there anything at all, or did it all just disappear? They right? just sort of... faded. Okay. Faded so back into nothingness. I don't know what was going on right. there. So there's no, like, energy signatures or anything like that left over that we can check? Or... Am I getting any uh, EMF readings? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, according, like... to my according to my Geiger counter, uh, this radiated stalker. You need to get out of here. Um, we'll get all of your stuff. With uh, Ro Romeo Arcana. Uh, Arcana. Samuel. Because yeah. oh, he's the one that has. Yeah, you're the one that has the tech magic cast right now. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Arcana. Bow. Ooh! Bow. Ooh! Hmm. Ooh! Like the owl that's uh, flying around here. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right. At an initial glance, you honestly don't really catch much. Like the the magically boiled, magically created puddle of acid is like glowing very brightly in your detect magic vision. And you're like, this is... That's mm -hmm. way too bright. So you look away from it. Uh, looking at the spots where these creatures, you know, passed... Initially, you don't really notice much, but you really crouch down and like you even dig through like uh, some sand. You pick up like a handful of sand and really look into it. They, there's something there, something very faint. It's sort of like this. Uh, how does it's it's necromancy to a degree. It's like a botched necromancy spell, we'll say. That's probably the best way to put it. I don't know if you, as a character, would have experience with botched necromancy spells. Hopefully not. But it just feels like that. These creatures feel like they were brought about via magic. But it just doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. Like, it was supposed to, it was as if they were supposed to get a full body, along with coming back. But it never happened. So that's what you get, Samuel. Okay. I'm just looking real hard at some sand right now. <laughs> Essentially, to you, mm. the sand, like, to you, the, the sand, it just actually appears like this darker tint. It even, like, oozes out. Individual particles of sand ooze out, like, just this black ichor. Mm -hmm. But yeah, to the rest of you, it does look like he's just staring at sand. <laughs> Uh, but you know, did, wizards got a wizard, right? Like you know, you gotta accept it. Uh, did uh, Samuel pat down their pockets when he looked through through earlier? There is no pockets left on these people, unfortunately. Okay. There. All their clothing is stone, so there's nothing left. Uh, those of you who wield magic, what do you make of these? Um, it's definitely right. transmutation. Yeah, it's definitely uh, transmutation. Did I notice uh, Rainy's starting to turn into the thing? You guys all probably would notice it. Either directly, oh. like, for your vision focused on her, or out of the... Like, you would... Amidst her dodging, you see, like, a massive gash of stone carving across her chest. Oh, is she still turning into stone? No. no. Oh, okay. You guys would have seen it in the middle of comp, in the middle of that chaos. You would have caught it, at least a glimpse of it. Hmm. If... If I had to make a guess, I say that if if Rainies hadn't pushed through whatever was happening to her, she would have turned into one of those things. Yeah, I think so too. That's the best idea I have for that. Uh, transmutation is mm -hmm. not my specialty. But yes, we, there's still you any. Said, you you said it, transmutation. I, I do not know what this means. <laughs> Be magic literate. <laughs> it's sort of turning, it's like using the environment around just sort of like turning something into another thing entirely or. Oh, so someone. Hmm? Oh, so someone made a Sandman. Essentially, <sighs> yeah, or out of. <sighs> There's my death save. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize you made a joke. <laughs> it's a shit joke, that's why. <laughs> God damn it, I'm alive. 
Um, yeah, it's. Mm. With... It could have been a person that was turned into into stone, or yeah, it could have been the sun. Do we know that is very the... ominous. Do we know where the uh, the ghost thingies like? Were they just around us when combat started? They just you appeared know, out of know. nowhere. Yeah, they just appeared out of nowhere. The first, they? yeah, the first notice you had on them as a party was getting hit. One of you. <laughs> Was yeah. my ribs suddenly hurting and my jacket needing to be sewn up? Yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah, my back, yeah, my back got ripped open, didn't it? If I might tailor. make a suggestion, mm -hmm. let us go back to where they uh, emerged. Mark the location with a stick, then return to the guard post and come back in the morning. Okay, well, I'd like to take some of the at least the you know the old rock people with us. I have this. I hold up the claw. Okay. Like a probably like six inches long claw attached to like a normal size finger. Okay. Um. The ghost things are bothering me though. Yeah, they're bar mm. yeah. Because what I'm thinking bugging me too. If there are more around, we should not linger no. too long. Let's no. let's let's walk and talk. Let's okay, go I'm... back to the guard watch post. Agreed. Uh, Right, I'm gonna grab some anyway just to be safe and then like of the body and then be my guest. All right, I'm gonna grab some. I'll go. Uh, I can patch you guys up once we get back. Okay. The best of my ability. Thanks for the assistance, by the way. <laughs> yes, thank you. He just holds out his left arm, which has like several the several armbands. Mm. Aww. <laughs> Part of the job. Me dragging uh... your corpse back is not though. So come on, before you guys get turned into him. Yep, uh... let's go. Lead the way. I'll I'll uh, do a quick because uh, that shovel should still be st stuck in the ground there. The shovel so, is still there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll uh, I'll dig up the dig up the pit a little bit just to make sure no one steps on it by accident, and then I'm gonna <laughs> mark the uh, move move the uh, unused torch down to where I think they emerged and jam it into the sand. D dig it in a bit so it doesn't get pulled away. Okay. Hey, I'm just um, gonna make sure Augustus is okay. <laughs> He's been in my pocket for a while. He's squeaking up a fucking storm. Yeah. <laughs> what was why that? Is, Aminius, can I uh, can I talk to y'all real quick? Of course. Yeah, of course. But it's like while we're walking. Yeah. So, I'm not trying to like hide this from anyone. If you want to listen, you could hear it. Um. Okay. From what I can gather, the ghost things, whatever we fought, some sort of necromancy. Um. But something about it isn't right. Yeah. Okay. What what sort of necromancy? What sort of necromancy do you think it was then? Was it like the a necromantic kind? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like, what was off about it? Like the demonic. It was. Just, yeah. It was. I can't really glean that much from it, but it's like it was incomplete. Okay. There was the the energy to guide it, but there was no body to contain it oh so i think some someone tried to do something it went wrong and it turned whoever it might have been into those things so it's like a botched project it's yeah. my best guess i might be you know way off mark with this but any idea how to stop it least. You hear oh, no. Beric click his rifle. <laughs> Do you know how to stop it? <laughs> like, um... I meant to side the obvious. A permanent solution. <laughs> yeah. He shrugs. Without finding the source, I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah. Because it might have just been a one-off thing where they messed it up and now they're wandering, or... Or they're, they're still doing it. Yeah, or somebody's yeah. doing it deliberately. Um... Sounds like something traders would do. We should maybe wait around for a bit longer before heading, mm -hmm. and then just to see if something else does turn up. As far as I'm concerned, these are two different threats that just happened to hit us both. I don't know, they might be related. They were in the same place at the same time, though. <sighs> um, everyone roll me roll perception. Hmm. Uh, roll perception. Until I get something that proves otherwise. Perception proves otherwise. I see nothing. <laughs> Fail, hey. success, success for me, but I don't mark my own. 
Perception. Uh, perception. Hit that right, Tango. Persuasion for this person. For my owl. Yo. Ooh, the nat 20. Bird sees uh, all. I can't click it for some reason. Am I? You can't click perception? Yeah. It's on the character sheet right down on the left. Yeah, yeah. So above it should be the next alphabetical skill. Oh, it's not the passive one. It's the in the box. Yeah, above it, above it. So just click that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So basically to everyone except Sandra, <laughs> you, even the bird. <laughs> Feels fucking bad. <laughs> The styles of the claws on the invisible creatures when you saw the reflections and the styles of the claws on the stone stone gents as you guys put them. They're the exact same. Same bone structure, same length. Albeit one is immensely slower and diff and slightly like different fighting style wise, they both swung the same way, stuff like that. Wait, so the the stone guys and the shadow guys are the same you're saying? They're the same, same style of claws. This oh, is okay. claws. Okay. okay. So I'm only here say... to give you guys information. I am not here to confirm stuff. Do you yeah, think no, could be, just... like, transformed from those other creatures? Yeah, or maybe the... Yeah. So it's it could... like the shadows are the first step, and then the stone guys are the next one? Or they're just or the different it's sorts? two separate things. Oh. Yeah, or it could be the... that whoever made these stone gents failed some <laughs> terribly and they died and they <laughs> waste not want not yeah perhaps at this point you guys are coming towards the watch post mm. and then the door slams open and you see uh your chilly friend there <laughs> does anyone remember his name uh it starts uh, with a i did in Aben. phyllis phyllis Aben Aben and, and Adam. Philip and Abin. That was it. Cops are friends for Abin and Philip. Yeah. So yeah, you see. You have notes, though. You guys should check it. I literally yeah, so did. I, he's I he's rushing. Mm. But I had to double check, though. Fair mm. enough. Yeah, so the door slams open. You see Abin. He has a shotgun loaded. He's. Come on! They need our help! They need it! Oh, fuck. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> he looks at his watch. That was fast. <laughs> Fellow is behind him in much lighter armor with a rifle. I told you that heavy armor would take you to. <laughs> Shut up! It's the fault that counts. He does a head count? One, two. Okay. Grant's on making it back. S some of us are a little bit worse for wear. You don't happen to have uh, spare chili, do you? <laughs> That's healing I'll, chili. I'll start a fresh batch. Come on, come on. Come on, we gotta, gotta get this door closed. More shit happens. Also, mm -hmm. thank you for the sh lending me this. I hand back the shop. You hand it to Phil. He's like, no problem. He's holding, up the, holding the door open for you as you guys walk past him and enter. <laughs> Tum uh, wood bar gets put back in the door. All right, another batch of chili. Phil, go back up top. We need keep an eye out. We need more trouble tonight. Yeah, yeah. Let me put this back first. Opens up the cabinet, sh uh, stows away the shovel. Heard a lot of noise, he says as he's walking up the stairs past you guys. Good to see you guys all came back, though. And then he just ascends the several, the few stories up to the top of the watch post. <laughs> Varric um, moves all the lounge chairs next to one another, moves a coffee table there. Alright, if anyone needs patching up, He's busting out a hero's kit. Come over to me. I take him up uh, on that offer. <laughs> yeah, me too. Now, I think a hero's kit only heals like 1d6 or something. It's but something. it's better than nothing. Yeah. Let me confirm. Mm -hmm. I should have confirmed this earlier, oh. but I didn't because I'm a genius. I always personally rolled it like one hit die of whoever's using it. Oh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Mm. Let me read it. It has 10 uses, you can stabilize a creature without needing to make a message. Okay, well, fuck that shit. Feel free to roll a hit die. Free of charge, a courtesy of Varric. Patching you up a little bit. Ooh, deadly. 
Certainly, Samuel. You may borrow this claw. Okay, thank you. The claw. How, how does one roll a hit die? Uh, so in the center of your sheet, um, above like where all the attacks and shit are. Oh, I see it. And, yeah, hit dice. Just click it once. Oh. All Oof. right. Well, <laughs> you guys are allowed uh, to take a short rest as well. The, the one hit dice is free of charge because of it. But now you can spend hit dice to heal more if you want. Alright, the... Hit dice. Yeah. Like that? Okay. All, these all them ones. reds! <laughs> yeah, I'm allowed to get the low numbers out of the way now. I mean, my ratio you can spend is as many. You can spend as many hit dice as you want, and you recover half of your hit dice at a long rest. So if you all spend right. them all now, you take a long rest, you only get one back. You join level okay. two. Okay. Alright, so I put one hit. That being said, you'll make your back to full. Yeah. Wait, falls. Do you need to leave yet? Um, yeah, I do need to head out, but I just didn't want to like leave in the middle of stuff. Mm. Uh at this point, uh, I will say what I have planned is just debriefing with the two guards, go and going back to town and debriefing with them. Uh, a okay. quick question before you go. Uh Tanum would suggest that uh, if if we continue adventuring together, uh, uh, that we take a, a small portion of our earnings and have a collective pool of of uh, something reasonable. Oh uh, yeah, the party fund. Yeah, a lot of expeditionary ah, teams okay. do that. I vote in favor of that. Yeah, I like I that. Problem with it. Do you yeah. want to do a 80% uh, 20% split? So the 20% goes to the party fund and the 80% is split amongst ourselves. I say 20 personally, Varric mentions. 20 to the party fund. Maybe make it 30 just to make sure it has like a decent amount right. in there. Mm -hmm. I'm down to 30. Yeah, no, I'm cool with that. Whatever Whatever works. Works. I've got enough I can get by anyway, so good. I 70. live in town, so. Hmm. 70 30 it is then. Oh, if you guys okay. ever need a place to stay, I could probably talk to my cousin. No, that's fine. Oh. I have a room <laughs> open. Uh, that would be appreciated. Mm. Uh, Crash, while everyone's getting uh, patched up, I want a ritual cast identify on the claw. Just to... The claw! The, the claw! claw. <laughs> just, to, just to see if I get anything from it. Just Next it. monster is going to be a crab guy and identify it will be called the clamps. <laughs> Please. Please make it a crab with a knife. You mess with the <laughs> crab and you get the stab! <laughs> That's why I imagine my Pokemon are like. Hi. So, can, um, before I go, can I just ask to take a short rest when we get back to town? And then... You can take a short rest right now, is the okay. thing. You can take a short rest anytime, as long as you have 10 minutes where you're not getting or fucked by any other circumstance. Okay, so can I add my hit dice back? No, you need a long rest in order to get hit dice back. Short. Okay, so I have one hit dice left. Um, how? What would my HP be right now if I started from one and I rolled twice? It depends on what you roll. I rolled a two and a three. Well, so then I you just add that. Together. You added two and a three. three and to the... oh, okay. Yeah, you add the hit dice to your uh, HP. It's your okay. way of recovering. Without okay. it, you right. also got one extra for free from... From, uh, from Varric. Varric. Yeah, so you, have three, you should have had three hit dice rolled. Okay, so yeah, that, together. that puts me at eight. Okay. Oh, so there we had a few it. hit dice. I, I didn't. Yeah, uh, if you wanted to get patched up by Vera, because he has a healer's kit. Okay, well, I'm going to peace out. Just pretend I'm there yeah. hanging out Thanks quietly for playing with you. Thank you for playing. Yes, thanks nice. for having me. Uh, and, and thanks I for dealing with my nub of... too. Hmm? Thank you for dealing with my nubness. That's fine. We all start somewhere. Yeah. Um, Next session, I don't. Uh, it might be a bit more RP heavy and less combat heavy. Hmm. If my intent goes right, I might be entirely fucking wrong. But yeah. So, next session, less combat, less mechanic stuff, more RP stuff. Sounds good to me. Alright. Yeah. I will see you then. Thank you. See you uh, later. Wait, wait, before you go, oh. are we playing tomorrow without, like, sans you, or do you want us to hold off? You guys can feel free to play without me. Um, I just can't make tomorrow because I have family stuff going on. Okay. Um, I can play for sure next weekend. Okay, I might, I might honestly take the Saturday off. Dude, next next weekend sounds good to me. Next week? Yeah. Next Saturday? Yeah. Alright. Next Saturday is then. We're not in any session yet. Except for... Yeah. For, for, for a handful of people. 
Okay. Thanks again. No problem. Thanks for playing. Nice having you. Bye. Bye. All right. So you guys get patched up by Vera. You take a short rest. Get a breather. <sighs> Some of you, point of you, nearly died there. <laughs> and then Varric is standing there unhit. Patching you guys off. <laughs> As a good gunman should. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, in that time, uh, do you guys want to, like, inform your guard friends yeah. about what happened? Yeah, I'd describe. Oh, guard friend! So that is at the top. <laughs> well, I'd describe what to keep an eye out for and also mention the reflections, and there might be more than what they see if they do see things. Reflections. I not envy you guys at all. I would stay clear of the water line. I will stay close to it if you have to be there. I think I'm gonna stay here in the tower until the shift ends. I'm I'm good. <laughs> Don't blame me there. Um. Yeah. There might be more. But... More. Oh, man. You never know with these things. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, can I ask, do you happen to have a piece of uh, string? Or a long piece of string that I might have? Yeah, I got some, uh, some string. It's in the uh, cabinet. Why, you need it? Yes. Okay, let me go get it. He... Uh... Sits it, stands himself upright from having been stirring the chili this whole time. He goes over the like, little built in wall cabinet, opens it up, and there's this large spool of yarn. Uh, I hope this will do. And he comes over and hands it to you. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, I'll make little loops and I'll take uh, th three of my uh, oil, flasks of oil and I'll tie, make sure they don't fall off and so tie tightly around the, uh, a loop around each mm -hmm. and then I attach the loops to my belt so that I have three flasks of hanging from my belt. <laughs> Just ready mm -hmm. at all times? Yes. Fair enough. Oh, I want it tight enough so it doesn't fall but but so tied in such a way that I can yank it off. Okay. I, um... There's a knot for that. <laughs> yeah, let's say there's probably like some way to do that. Or you could just tie it at the bottom as well. Yeah, you do so. Nice. Nice. Get this out onto a tray. Nice. Anyways. So, you guys fill in Aben about your, uh... Escapades. Near lethal escapades, yeah. Uh, at this point it's like 1am. You guys trying to head back right now, or...? I'm trying we to have a... a thing. <laughs> well, yeah, he's the 10 minutes haven't passed is a thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I figured it only takes you guys like five minutes. Story of we got jogged and we killed them. Yeah. You guys trying to head back right now, or? I think it might be wiser to do so in the morning. We can yeah. send a bird out and they can bring out an escort for you. Cardinal. If you want. I would not mind. I would, I would definitely be. not be opposed to that. Okay, then. He reaches, uh, he goes back to the car and reaches into it and pulls out this sort of red leather strip. No, 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 no. Just sucks away. Yellow, no. Orange, no. And then he ends up on this sort of, it's gray, but it has like a tint of blue to it. All right. Uh, you guys wait here and make sure the chili doesn't boil. We'll be right back. Maybe he's mm -hmm. ascending with the watch post. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good or bad is this chili? It mm. smells really fucking good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Could I, like, sneak a bowl? Or... It's not ready yet. It's still too watery. Oh, okay, okay. I'll just leave it then. It. If you want to sneak a bowl of watery chili, if that's your sort of... Uh, if you like watery chili, then be my guest. Is but... there bread to dip it in? <laughs> there is some bread around. Mm, Delicious. Uh, Sandra, let me tell um, you a Trajaran secret to s great spice. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The best spice is a hungry customer. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's you sound I'm... just like my cousin. <laughs> Beric's like disassembling <laughs> and cleaning his rifle. Any well, food's good to a hungry man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fucking might as well eat rocks then at that point. Mm. And I haven't eaten since yesterday morning, so let's see. 
Like I fit right in with that category. <laughs> <laughs> so it's ten minutes thing. pass. Oh, Crash! Did they take those two rations I put on the trap? No, they didn't. 